Subnautica has gotten an update, 2.0 Living Large, where we have gotten access to this lovely large room that was previously only available in Below Zero. Uh, and I have posted a video about the best base locations where to build with such a base. However, where to find the blueprint? Well, I will tell you. The blueprint is available to find, and now I'm gonna be listing what you need for it. Uh, you need a sea glide, first and foremost, and you need the scanner. Then you will be needing the high capacity O2 tank and the fins, because uh, we will be going to grab the large bl blueprint. Now, the large blueprint is available where everything else. So if you see the Aurora from your starting position, you want to go be behind it. So if you take this direction and then just continue. So what you, you're you aiming to end up at the rear of Aurora. Now, uh, the li large room update means that the large room blueprint is available where you get the multi-purpose room, the regular round room in Subnautica. And there are three locations. One location is on the islands. Second location is there where the Degasi base is in the, I think it's called Deep Reef or Dr not the Grand Reef, the other one. Uh, and the third place is my favorite where I love to build a base and it's the, the place where I'm taking you to. It's this place. Near the grassy plateau, you have an entrance to the Jelly Shroom Cave. And I will tell you why this is my favorite place. So, it, the biome, grassy plateau, looks like this. It has many spires and if you put uh, on the sea glide, while up the sea glide, if you put a map, this is how the entrance looks. So it looks like a lot of spires and then in beside on the right hand side you can tell that there is an entrance. So what you're looking for are these spires and then this gaping hole and you should aim for that hole. Now location is you should have this view of the aurora when you're looking at it and you should be roughly 400-ish meters away from your starting location. So you come and when you see all these columns and it is borderlining with the uh, with the seagrass area where you have this, uh, you know, creep vine forest. Yeah. So you go in, you take the sea glide and you go straight down. Straight down is where you will end up in the jelly shroom caves and immediately as you descend, the reason why I'm choosing this particular entrance is as the soon, the moment you come, you will be coming to the round room. And once you scan that, you will get a blueprint for the large room as well. And this is my favorite location because around here you have loads of upgrades. So if you have a scanner, this is the place to be. And also it is a place where I prefer building my base. So look, I have gotten the, the multi-purpose room blueprint. And that means I've also gotten the large room, see? Then I have gotten also the large room partition and the large room dome, I think it's called. Multi-purpose room glass dome and the large room glass dome, I should be. Yeah, there you go. So all of these you get when you scan the multi-purpose room.